Okay, Garrison Barban characters that we could easily fold, bro. We're starting from easy clap dance all over them. Bro, that's like, we just take them out with ease and we win. Second one is close but win. Bro, that's like a close brawl. We got a few bruises here and there, but we still win. Yeah, we still win. And this one, it could go either way. This one's kind of like mid, bro. I don't want to think of this one because it's either a win or a loss. Depending on the situation, the weather, the temperature, if you're feeling sick. Too many factors in this one. And the next one, struggle but lose. Like, you might as well fight back, but you dead. You still lose. You still get folded regardless. Then say goodnight, bro. It was nice knowing you, bro. Play your favorite song at the funeral. You better request it right now. Okay, the first one, we start with the miniature birds. Bro, this is an easy clap. Bro, they're little flamingo birds that are like a few centimeters tall, bro. Easy clap. I'll dance all over them. Anybody, your general person will take out these birds with ease. All six at one go. They're, it's chicken. They're, they're chicken. They'll turn into KFC chicken, bro. You take them out, you fry them, done. There's no chance. Let me see the height of them, actually. Yeah, look at this. Olympia chicks, 45 centimeters. That's chicken balls. Pause. So yeah, that's easy. No chance there for those birds, bro. You can take all six at once, bro. Just one stomp, they're all gone. Okay, and the next one, the larger bird. Mm, it's easy or close, but win. Let's put an easy clap dance. Let me see the height of them first. Who's ready for an ass whooping? Ass whooping. 2.1 meters. Okay, that's kind of. Those things are like. No, I don't care. It's still a bird. I'll drop it down a tier. It, not, it might not be easy, but that's still a bird. It's still like a flamingo, bro. It's not that sturdy. It doesn't have that much armor, bro. It doesn't have that nature plot armor. So we still win it because we can just slide on its legs. Yeah, look, I got bird legs you got bird stick legs and you already know how those break too easily and if you go on its back it can't do anything easy clap well not easy because you have to face it up front first but yeah or just do a run and slide tackle at it. i'm pretty sure it doesn't have the stability you know the flexibility to you know get you when you're sliding at it. yeah so you run full speed at it slide tackle it go on its neck boom next oh my goodness these are the blobs these are the blobs. No, this is easy clap. When you see them in Garrett Ban Ban 1, bro, they were already folded. They were already folded and dead on the in the hospital rooms where you had to like get the syringe thing for the for the serum, bro. What what height are they? What height are they actually? Captain Fiddles and crew. Yeah. No wonder they got folded. 150 centimeters tall. Easy clap. They're just blobs. They're blobs of an alien. You can use any type of move on these people and they're gone. Next we got Okay, so the Zoopolis, the Zoopolis, whatever it is, bro, 40 meters high. But we don't know, like, the full size and body of this thing. Every time we see it, it's just the face looking at you. But does it actually do anything? Bro, I'm wondering if it got any special attack moves. Let's put them into freaking, it can go either way. But I'm kind of leading into close but win because the dude's very tall but he moves very slowly but then again i could be saying that but he could be like sleeper hacks he could like end our lives with like some type of hack move that we don't even know we haven't seen yet but because we haven't seen much i'm i'm leaning more to could go either way to close but win okay next we got slow sea line no bro say good night this dude moves like the flash if he sees you moving an inch just as a microscopic inch you're gone you're dead because the only way you can fight him is by moving and his eyes have to like look away which is very slowly but there's no chance you're you're obliterated like you can't even say good night bro you turn you turn into dust he's just gonna splat you bro like his speed alone psh, too much bro like even if you had a chance to like do whatever smack whatever combo you're doing bro when he's looking away but he's gonna just take you out with one hit bro because he moves too fast okay now there's tartar bird okay there was olympia bird and there was tartar bird they're both the same they both got the same metrics so um it's close it's close but we still win they might have high advantage on like most of us but like because they're 2.1 meters tall but they they have no mobility they can't like turn around quickly they don't have uh fast enough reflexes because they got those stick legs ban ban okay call me crazy but i'm thinking ban ban he's a close but win because in the first ban ban the first ban ban he had to sneak behind us he had to sneak behind us to take us out 
So I was thinking that, okay, damn, he cannot take us on face front because it said on the letter too, if we turned around quick enough, we could have escaped. Knowing that now, Ban Ban's a coward, bro. He only took us out because he sucker punched us, bro. Okay, the lowest, if you're trying to be fair, you can probably put him in, could go either way, but I think it's a close boat win. But what height is he? Wait a minute, what? He's 2.5 meters, 2.5. Five meters and he at the backstabbers. Bro, he's definitely skinny or something, bro. There's no way. Now we gotta see. We have to see his attributes and hacks. Okay, it says here Ban Ban is tall, is a tall red humanoid figure with two blah 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 blah. Okay. The main part only consistent of two round eyes and a toothless mouth. Okay, so he can't even bite us. <laughs> Oh crap, well, I forgot. Okay, 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 okay. There's two forms. There's two forms of Ban Ban. Okay, so normal form Ban Ban, it's a close win because he had to backstab. His evil form, struggle but loose. So let's put him in the middle. We don't know if we're gonna fight him with the normal form or with his other evil form. So yeah. Okay, Jumbo Josh, bro, you're gone. <laughs> You're dead, fam. You're fighting like a UFC fighter who's about like 40 meters tall, who's muscular. He's the size of like 10 bodybuilders in one. He's got teeth. He's got everything in his arsenal to take you out, bro. There's no chance. Wow. Yeah, so honestly, it's not a good idea to be fighting Jumbo Josh, bro. He are a hundred percent dead. Say goodnight. Okay, next we got is Queen Bouncelina. Or Queen Bounce Leah. Okay, this dude is pretty damn big as well. Yeah, we gonna put her to say goodnight, bro. Have you seen how jacked kangaroos can be? Never mind the size of this one. This one's probably like four meters tall. And what the flip is with that one, two in her hand, bro? I wanna know what type of hacks that she can activate with that thing. I know that ain't no stick that's just lying around in her hand. Like you can tell by her face that she's clearly suspicious. She's got like a special type of move thing. I was gonna put her in struggle but lose, but nah. She's too big and she's got the wand, so if she was a regular kangaroo, you could probably put her could go either way. Because she's not a regular kangaroo and she's a specimen type of kangaroo, she's going there. Next we got Nab Nab. Okay, this spider's kind of big. Okay, so Nab Nab is two meters. Two meter spider with lots of sharp teeth and a crazy long tongue. We don't even want to know what it's for. Oh, because it's a spider, I want to put it in could go either way. Why? Because spiders are kind of weak. They don't have that much plot armor. So a few jabs would make it go away. But the amount of teeth Nab Nab has, we're not using no damn weapons too, so... We're just dead. We'd probably put up a really good fight though. But we'd still lose. Nabalina? Same character traits as Nab Nab. Exact same type of, you know, specimen is what it is. We still lose. Not a chance. They got the same features. Got the Jester, bro. We don't know what the Jester does. Well, honestly, I'm gonna put him and say goodnight. The dude looks menacing. Like, the dude is two faces. He could have two personalities, he could be OP. Look at his face, he's happy and sad at the same time. So we're getting folded like an omelette, 100%. Stinger Flynn, Psh, say goodnight. This is an ocean creature, alien form, buffed, mind control, and it has a high IQ too. Bro, I don't know any type of jellyfish that doesn't have some sort of hacks in real life as well. Most jellyfish you can't even touch without you getting a bunch of cuts. Just know that you're gonna get damaged. There's no way you're fighting them. Jellyfish in general have crazy types of hacks. Like, look at his powers, bro. Jellyfish. Case 13 has electronic Like, What the flip is that? It's mind control and has telepathy, bro. Like, what flip is this? It says, the transport of particles are fluid by means of an electric field acting on a fluid which has a net mobile charge. Bruh, so basically, they can control electricity. So, we're 100% getting folded. We're turning into burnt charcoal. We're getting burnt into a crisp. There's no way. There's no surviving that. Balbelina could go either way. High tier could go either way. But I'm leaning more to the wind because she's a bit like Ban Ban and she's low IQ actually because you can trick her with the costumes in Ban Ban 2 where you pretend to be other students. You got that IQ advantage. 
and she's actually not that fast either so we got reflexes we got iq on her but she's got the height advantage because she's kind of tall yeah like she is 2.4 meters she's not that much off ban ban and the bird but looking at her build she's just as skinny as ban ban if not even skinnier so knowing all of this she's an easy fold i mean wait wait wait, wait. she's going to could go either way 100 percent. but i'm leaning closer to the win 100% on this one. Okay, the two turtles. <laughs> no, we lose. We lose. I was thinking about struggle but lose, but it's 100% lose. One turtle has a long tongue, and then the other turtle has bombs. Slime bombs. Those slime bombs could, you know, take off your limbs. Bro, you can only dodge them for so long. And these turtles definitely got unlimited ammo, bro. Knowing that they're species, bro. Yeah, so we're getting folded. We're getting blown up 100%. There's no way. They still got that shell of plot armor and we're not using any weapons. We're dead. Okay, next is Mr. Kebab Man. This guy's an easy fold. This dude is lit as a literal stick. He doesn't do anything. Bro, he's a stick man. Even if he has hacks, he has no mobility. Like, look him. He's made out of sticks. And like, paper holding them together, whatever that is. What is that holding them together, bro? We can snap that in two. Yeah, so we got this one. Then Sheriff Toadstool. If he's a regular toad, I mean, toads are actually kind of fast. Let's put him, yeah, put him right here, ahead of Balabalina. We have a better chance to win against the toad than Balabalina. Yeah, so that's the tier list. We fold all those three in the top pretty damn easily, and then the ones that kill us, bro. The strongest one for sure is definitely Slow Sling or Stinger Flynn. Oh, I'm gonna put Stinger Flynn ahead because he has mind control, telekinesis, and some jellyfish are even immortal in real life, bro. They have like no brain. So we don't know what this one's up to. 